How do your feet feel today? Well, if they're feeling a little bit weak, we have one more exercise to strengthen your medial calf and we have a Bible verse that addresses feet again, because there's so many different verses in the Bible that address feet, which I find to be interesting. But today we're going to read Psalm 18, 30 through 36. And it says, as for God, his way is perfect. The word of the Lord is flawless. He is a shield for all who take refuge in him. For who is God besides the Lord? And who is the rock except our God? It is God who arms me with strength and makes my way perfect. He makes my feet like the feet of deer. He enables me to stand on the heights. He trains my hands for battle. My arms can bend a bow of bronze. You give me your shield of victory and your right hand sustains me. You stoop down and make me great. You brought in the path beneath me so that my ankles do not turn. And some of the translations say, so my ankles do not give way. So this one really reminds me of our calves. And when we have tight calves, which most of us do, it causes another portion of our calf, which is our medial gastrocnemus to be tight, to be weak, sorry. So our the rest of our calves are tight. So we need to be foam rolling them, which I showed you. Then our sides of our calves, our perennials also need to be foam rolled. But there is a specific calf muscle that is weak. And that is the medial gastrocnemus. So the best way to strengthen this one is with a single leg calf raise. So you're going to be taking this up for slow count and down. Now you can use no weights at all. You don't need a balance on anything if you have good balance. But if you do need to hold on to something, you can hold on to a wall and do your one leg like this. Or if you have a dumbbell or a water bottle or anything that you can use to create some resistance, that would be great too. So you're gonna hold that weight on the side that you're working. So we're gonna take it up and this is gonna be for 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. All right, we're gonna put that weight down carefully and turn around and work that other side. I'm gonna pick that up to the suitcase deadlift and here we go into another 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And nicely set that weight down. Now you can do one, two, or three sets of that exercise. 